to everyone guys today in this video i will show you how to use with context in our um, given scenario or odoo, odoo 16 and we are using odoo 16 today um, and as you can see ide we are using uh, is visual studio code and uh, as usual i've got odoo 16 community edition can see it here order 16 okay let me just um, explain to you that and what kind of scenario I'm talking to you about and in what kind of scenarios we can use with context so let's suppose if we go in project so uh, before going in project I must say that I have already installed project application but if you have not installed it you can click on application and here if you can just type in project so yeah you, you will see project application in odoo apps um, because i have already installed it if you have not installed it you will just type it in here and you will see project application there um, of, of, if you have not installed you will see activated here so once you will click activate it it will install in your um, in your machine so let's go to let's go in project if you will click in project and after that i can see here you can create different projects so uh, these are just by default projects have been created um, and here in this tab you can see my tasks so here these tasks are already demo tasks have been created uh, in these tasks, um, you can also link up projects as well. So let's suppose that if I create a new task and let's suppose we can just say task number one and what project we want to link in, we say of office design. Um, assignees, it's just my name at the moment and it is admin. Uh, customer we just say okay uh, this is the customer name uh, there is no sale order team have been have been created deadline okay 6th of uh, January tags any tags you can also sign okay so once I will create this task you will see on right hand side that uh, followers also will be created automatically and it's up to the system configuration if we have uh, if we have a, so uh, what I'm going to do I'm just going to create this so when I create it you can see here that automatically if I go in tasks and this is the one task number one which I have created so automatically you can see that two followers have been created so because one is me or obviously um, it has added me as a follower and another mark demo as well so because this is a fresh database but once you will add people a user so automatically it will add uh, followers on 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 automatically uh, you can also change it in um, settings and there are a lot lot more ways as well where you can um, track the communication but this is the automatic behavior of Odoo it's automatically adding followers so but in real-time scenarios uh, sometimes we don't want these followers people complain that we don't want to uh, why you have added uh, us as a follower because every time we will make any kind of uh, update so that will send notifications to um, to the followers so how we can remove these followers when we will create um, tasks so this is one example that I have created a task which is task number one and automatically these followers have been created so in this kind of scenario we will use uh, with context with context I just um, show you how so first of all we will go in visual studio and first of all we will create um, a file inherit project or task so what i have done if you see my custom module 
which is customization. And here in models, I have already got project.task. Uh, I have already done some customization here, but I have just commented we didn't need at the moment in this practice. So what you need, you just need, you already know that how we inherit um, in models. So this is my class name, which is project task extension, and uh, we are inheriting project dot dot task. Okay, so we are uh, overriding create function. So because what is happening uh, when we are creating a new uh, new task? So if I click here create, so when I create, so this create button is actually triggering a create function, create task function in project or task. Uh, so if you want to see that function, I show you. So if you go in Odoo and in Odoo in base modules, which are in add-ons and then go in project. If you go in project, then in models and here project.py and just search define create. So this is the function which I'm talking about. So this is the function in Odoo uh, project module which is creating a task. This is the one. And we are overriding this function. Uh, overriding means that whatever functionality it has got, that will remain the same, but we are also adding something on top. So the we are doing it now. So that is this is the name of the function which is create. And in that function, first parameter is self and second is walls list. Right. And then we are supering it. So whenever we are overriding, in my other videos, I have already explained what is a super. So we say this result is variable. Um, and we are supering it. When we say super, first in here, we are going to write our class name, which is this one. So this is my our class. And after that, we say self dot with context so self dot with con uh, with sorry with underscore context which is here and we say that with context and in in that the, the argument we are passing we are saying mail no track is equal to true and then after that, we have already uh, passed the argument and then we do the normal create and false list. This is dot, sorry. So, uh, we are saying that we are just supering this is the normal way. And here we are, we are saying self dot with context mail underscore no track is true. So, what is with context which um, we are practicing today so basically with context uh, returns a new version of this record set attached to an extended context so what it means that uh, we are record set will be merged into a new version of the record set along with the changes we achieve and the new changes which we are doing is that mail mail no track already in this record set already default behavior is uh, mail tracking is on we are saying no mail tracking simple so this is how we can do that and then we need to return result that's it um, in just these three lines you can achieve what we are talking about so let's restart our service we don't need to upgrade our uh, module because we have ch done changes in our Python file and then just restart. We go in project. Uh, okay, and 
Now we are creating a task number two. The same thing, office design, um, customer, okay. Deadline, 20th, tag, any tag. Okay, and I'm going to create it now. Oh, sorry, I have done a major big mistake. Okay, whenever we are overriding a create or any um, uh, Odoo function, and that is in a model, so we need to say at api.model. At api.model. So that's it. Let's rerun re it again. I will also um, just give description and uh, the link uh, of the documentation as well, where you can also read in more details what is with context. So context. Um, okay. So let's just reset it. I mean, restart it. Create a new task. We say task number two. Customer, any customer, deadline. Okay. Okay, and I'm going to create it. Once I create it, you see it has it's okay. If you if I just go in my task and go in task number two. So here you can see there is only one follower, which is me, which is the uh, super user. So that's that's all. Right. But all other people who will be the followers, uh, they will not get any kind of tracking or uh, any kind of notification. So this is how we can use with context. I hope you have liked this video. If you have liked it, please uh, like it, subscribe it, share it with your friends, um, and. Uh, we will come with new ideas and you know new real life real time scenarios okay guys thanks a lot see you again bye bye